if you're worried about bacteria, when you do get your meat, freeze it for three days before you feed it to your dogs. If you're really worried. Um, I handle the meat all the time with my hands. Sometimes I scratch my face. Sometimes I with tripe. I'm not dead. I'm fine. So the fear of bacteria and all that, just handle it. It's safe if you're worried about it. You guys all probably have weak immune systems anyway because you're so careful. Being careful is not necessarily a good thing anymore. You know, I'm, I'm an OCD person. You guys don't know me. I'm very uh, meticulous about certain things. But the reality is, is that we do need bacteria. Kids need bacteria. Dogs need bacteria. They're not going to die. Um, you know, and that's just the way it is. And to build a healthy immune system, you do need bacteria. Now, I have kefir here. I got apple cider vinegar. I've got bee pollen extract. I've got coconut oil. I've got fish oil, which requires vitamin vitamin E with dogs. I got diamaceous earth here. And we'll talk about these supplements as we go on. Now, a lot of the reason why vets will say don't feed your dog a raw diet is first step is they don't really understand it. They're educated by the dog food companies and the dog food companies think they know everything, but they really don't because their intent is money and not health. You know, and you know what? Feed your dog dog food. If he gets cancer, more money for the vets. No problem. Uh, like I said, I trust my vet. My vet is amazing. I've been through a few vets. A lot of them are full of shit. Um, so keep in mind that the guy you go to, uh, not everybody's smart. Just because they have a degree doesn't mean anything. I've learned that in life. Uh, there's a lot of people with degrees, a lot of people with paperwork, and they don't know, guess what? Shit. So uh, keep that in mind. Everything you get, keep a, you know, everything you hear, take it with a grain of salt. Not everybody knows everything. Just because they have a degree... Their, their opinions are skewed, uh, their research is skewed based on fake facts, uh, manipulated facts. You know, keep your eyes open. Uh, the idea that the raw food or blood turns a dog crazy, pit bulls are, are, are aggressive. Uh, there is a disposition about pit bulls to be drivey and dog aggressive. But human aggression and natural aggression is not necessarily there for humans. Uh, animal aggression, yes. Uh, prey, high prey drive, high pain threshold. Yes, these are all traits of the American Pit Bull Terrier and the, the modern day American Pit Bull Terrier. Um, but the idea that feeding your dogs uh, raw meat gets them crazy, that's a big fact. Uh, that's a big myth, I mean. What am I saying? Fact. Feeding your dogs raw meat and then becoming aggressive and eating your kids, false. Myth. I live with 10 dogs. Sometimes I'm bleeding. I cut myself open. They lick it. They try to fix me. They're not trying to eat me. So the idea that they're going to eat you and all this nonsense, that's a bunch of bullshit. Okay? Uh, one thing, one myth there. The vets also don't want you to, to, to uh, feed your dogs a raw meat diet. Because if you get the, the calculations wrong and the diet's off of a balance, you're actually doing worse for your dog than better. So make sure that your balance of raw food is a correct balance. It's not just tossing in a turkey leg and you know, here's some beef steak and here's some chicken. Another thing, do not feed your dog cooked bone. Do not feed your dog cooked bones, please, because they will splinter. Bone becomes brittle when it's cooked. And if it's brittle, it's gonna shard. If it shards, it gets lodged in your, in, in your dog's throat, you're in big trouble, you got surgery. I have spent zero dollars on my dogs. You know why? Because they're taught to chew at a young age. So when these dogs running around the city jump on a bone they find outside and they try to ingest it, they try to swallow it, it's because they're so used to kibble. Now kibble, what do dogs do? And they swallow it, right? So you want to be able to teach these dogs to chew. Now if you've taught your dog to chew, which is one good reason to feed raw, when they get a toy or they get something in their mouth, they learn to chew. They don't just swallow it. I have never had to take a dog to surgery. This is also why on starting puppies, I don't like to feed, I mean, real small puppies, four or five week old. Yes, I'll put them on a, uh, on a grounded chicken or something like that or a grounded uh, substance. But I like them to learn how to chew because if everything's grounded, they don't learn how to chew. 
So what I will do with an eight-week-old puppy or a seven-week-old or six weeks old, I'll put a whole chicken in there in the litter. And guess what they got to do? They got to learn to chew. It's too big for them to swallow. So they're going to learn the idea of chewing. And that might save your dog. Forget about the benefits of raw food. That might save your dog from not swallowing something and getting lodged in their intestinal tract. All right? So those are that's another benefit of feeding whole, like a whole chicken or something bigger than their head that they can't just swallow. Because the ability to learn how to chew is very important. Okay? Uh, also, do not feed your dogs like, uh, I mean, don't feed your dogs weight-bearing bones, big bones. A dog like a pit bull, Dutch Shepherd, sometimes, well, some of them, they'll go a little haywire when they get in there. They'll go like, ah, I get crazy, I got a bone, you know, and then they're going to try to chomp down and break their teeth. So you don't want that either. Nothing weight-bearing, nothing huge, none of these big cow, you know, femur bones and stuff like that. Be careful because that'll break your dog's teeth. So I tend to stay away from that. You want to, I, I mean, Achilles is missing half of his teeth anyway, you know, but I don't want to lose any more. You know, he's going to have dentures in a couple of years, the way that he's moving. Um, but, um, yeah, so that's my take.